I will be showing you how to do a transformation, in this case stretches, on a sine graph. Now we're going to uh, enter an equation, and this is the equation for a sine graph, so y is equal to sine x. Now let's click on a uh, slope plot to show the sine graph. Now the sine graph crosses the origin, goes to 1, that's the amplitude, and goes back down again to the x-axis to cross 180 degrees and down to negative 1 and back again to 360 on the x-axis. Now we're going to enter another equation to show the transformation and this is a stretch so when you have a stretch you put a constant before the function and in this case we have y is equal to 2 sine x now the um, amplitude has been um, stretched two units up and that's the scale factor of 2 now we're going to change the um, the um, the constant so instead of a definite number like 2 we're going to change it to any number so we're going to enter uh, an equation again and this time we're going to put a letter in place of the constant so in this case we have k so y is equal to k sine x k can stand for any number so we're now going to uh, click on the constant controller to control all these constants we're going to put in front of our function so we're going to start with k being equal to 1 so that is on the graph itself now is 1.1 and as you can see if you look at the brown graph it starts to uh, stretch up along the y-axis and now it's 1.6 1.7 and the uh, graph is stretched correspondingly to the constant as that is the um, scale factor now we're going to try to lower the values of the k and now if it um, subs at one and that is where your graph um, the new graph is the same on the same level as the default graph of y is equal to sine x now it's going down again to 0.5 and so on until it gets to zero which is just flat and now it's going to go down and it's now negative if your constant is negative it start it will be reflected in this case all along the along the y axis so in this case here you have 1.1 so it is reflected 1.1 scale factor so it is exactly the same as the original graph but reflected along the y-axis so that's one there and it is negative one here but they still intersect the x-axis in the same part of it so continue to increase decrease i mean decrease the uh, scale factor is now negative two and if we click on a an animation so we can see clearly the movements of the graph when it's being stretched up and down the y-axis and that is a view of your graphs okay so we have here put the shows this the step had been put uh, had been on 0.1 to show a slower movement of the graphs so we'll try putting it on a family plot when you can see various constants applied to the stretches and this is how it looks isn't that beautiful